people of YouTube, my subscribers. I have talked about doing the hacker. I have made a fucking rally cry. Who thought that we would see his ass again? And I have been threatened by the YouTube troll police. I will get to you little kids in a second. Just you fucking wait. But unfortunately, you little fucks are not gonna have well, are not gonna be what I'm talking about today. I am a person that loves horror. I'm not gonna lie. Horror, metal, they go together one like one sweet ass motherfucking pie. <laughs> and uh I'm saying this because I play Killing Floor and all that, but this is beyond Killing Floor. And I'm gonna tell you something kind of fucked up at my school. I go to Emily Griffith. I'm an ex-high school student there. I failed my semester there. My teacher did not let me finish my semester there. None of them did. Because I was going to put the hammer down. I've been dealing with life and all that. What was sad was that my counselor, who was pregnant at the time, failed to do her job. In my first days of GED class, this wasn't my first time in a GED class, I'm not going to lie. Except I didn't have to pay anything this time. What's bad? What's bad was... I believe in the paranormal, yeah. I believe in strange shit. And what made me fucking so fucking scared of the school for a couple days... Was that some of the students brought a Ouija board. And did it, and fucking used that shit in the Kappa fucking Tyria. I shit you fucking not. They brought something like that in there. That is the equivalence of doing a fucking EVP session at an abandoned warehouse. It's just fucking creepy. What's fucking horrifying? Hold up. Yeah, text. No. What was so fucking horrifying about it is because the Ouija board is a fucking problem. If you do not say goodbye to the entity, be it ghost or demon, shit's gonna go down. And literally, the minute I stepped into that lunchroom and then the security guard cracked down on it, they did not say goodbye. What was fucking strange was that bad luck followed everyone that was in there. The minute I saw it and the security guard got in there, I left the fuck up out of that room. Then when they, then when I saw it, <coughs> bam. They, everyone in that fucking uh, break room got a little bit of bad fucking luck. I believe in fucking karmatic bullshit, but if it's a Ouija board pal, I fucking get the hell up out of there. You see, this is one of the main strange stories with schools nowadays. Sometimes a student will bring some fucked up shit into the equation. I shit you not. That shit was fucking real. They made a homemade fucking Ouija board or brought one in. It looked either homemade or real. And since Hasbro or whoever made it back then don't, you would have to make your own. Now, the whole problem with the Ouija board, as I said, it contacts spirits and demons. Demons, I, I'm not a religious person. I feel free to say that. I do believe in evil. I do believe that there's something going on. Always. All fucking ways. There's shit, there's gonna be shit that you cannot explain. I'm serious. I once read a Necronomicon not out fucking loud. As a fucking, uh, during one of my summer breaks before wherever I'm at today. And I read it in my mind, the dead language word for vampire and... Oh shit! It fucked me up. I couldn't sleep. 
I felt there was a constant presence on my ass. That shit kept me up all fucking night. I was panicking like hell. I heard fucking creaks, whispers, the damn nine yards of scary shit. And whenever I talk about this, last time I tried to talk about this, originally when I started this channel, was the fucking, I, this computer was not in my room. It was out in the fucking living room back then. The front door literally was opening and, opening and closing itself. There was no fucking wind, dude. There was no fucking wind. The minute I stopped talking about it, it stopped. I'm not going to go into detail, but I did tear apart that book and throw it in the fucking dumpster, man, because my mother said, just don't burn it. I wanted to burn the shit. I hate evil. I will do anything to get rid of it. But that shit's become some transient's problem. I have dealt with some fucked up crazy shit in my life. Yeah. And those two events in my life take the fucking cake, dude. Everyone in that fucking break room got fucking bad luck but me. And before all that, I read a Necronomicon and lived. Wow. Dude. It is absolutely fucking amazing that I'm here to tell these stories. Hell, I've even seen some more fucked up shit. That I... Kind of wish not to describe. Unless you count freaky dark figures with red eyes hissing at you one night while you're fucking trying to sleep, dude. That's a reason why I sleep with a Rosaro and a knife in my bed. That shit scares me. I just thought I should, like, put that fucking out there, man. I'm teaching you guys more about me. This is like a fucking story time, but this has actually fucking happened. This actually fucking happened, man. Now, as far as it goes down the rabbit hole, there is a... I don't want to speak about it, but I have to. There is a rising trend in one man hide-and-seek that ends fucking brutally. Or worse. One Man Hide and Seek is basically a game you play with a ghost or demon. It involves you tearing apart a doll, putting rice in it, uh, using a red needle, which uh, some dude, where it says it went bad on his fucking top for his title of the video, did not do it right, but I've seen other people do it right, and shit went fucking nuts. Shit hit the fan. And they use knives when it said use a wood, p like a toothpick, or a mechanical pencil. I'll get to why they said that. Somebody sent me a message? Okay. Sorry if I have to respond to a text, but it's calming me down a little bit. What's fucking horrifying was that the doll would hunt you down. You had to submerge it. You had to say it was it. And you had to count to ten. You had to turn everything off. You had to use, like, shit for your religion. Like, sh if you worshipped in, like, the Japanese gods, like Inori and all that, you would have to have some shrines. That would be, like, a fucking, uh, blind spot for him. But once he says he finds you, he will stab you. How you know he's closest by the... You gotta have a TV on with static. I'm getting that shit on my back. I gotta calm down. I have a sixth sense a little bit. I'm sorry. And there's a, a, an account on Tumblr that actually caught my attention 
this dude was an American, um, staying with a Japanese host family, when, uh, his host family's daughter tried it, and he saw on the TV, I'm looking for you, found you, and then he heard her scream. That thing jammed a knife into her fucking eye. And then he went on to say, afterwards, she became possessed. Now, what you gotta do after that, you gotta put salt water in your mouth, it's a whole bunch of crazy shit. And, just straight up, just straight up, man, don't swallow it. And then everything was done, you would pour the rest of the salt water, throw that, burn that motherfucker alive, throw it into a re reservoir, and then pull it out and burn it again. That's how you fucking stop it. And it's fucking terrifying, dude. It's like horrific. And I will never... I've seen people do this, and this is like a fucking death sentence. You know, some of these videos are fake, I know that, but some of them are literally cannot be explained. And the ones that cannot be explained startle me. It is like the uh, elevator game, where you punch in a whole bunch of codes and you wind up in a fucking uh, black and white dimension. Yeah. It's that bad, dude. It's that fucking bad. You know, I'm trying to raise awareness on this because it's becoming fucking increasingly more popular with the residents of Japan and now America. Seriously, dude. I don't know when it started to become popular, but it's starting to pick up again. I don't know what the fuck is going on for people to be fucking doing this shit, but if you want to get your ass chewed out by a demon, fine by me, pal. I don't want to be anywhere near you on that one. But if you're trying to fuck with forces you don't understand... I will not miss you because you fucked up big. I have fucked with some shit, yes. Shit that was not meant to be fucked with. I.e. the Necronomicon incident with my life. I was not a Satanist. I was held an atheist. Kind of a, a pledge to Inari a little bit, yeah. But as far as that goes, dude, I will avoid any Satanist bullshit, dude. I mean, demons, that's fucking hell. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it with a 50-foot pole. I don't want to touch it with a fucking machete. I don't want to touch it at all. There are things we cannot explain in this world. Is Slender Man real or not? Who the fuck knows? Is horror is monsters like a werewolf real? Probably. Is does things like Elizabetha, the Blood Countess, still alive or something? Exist? No evidence. Because scientists are trying to constantly find in the field to disprove facts from fiction. And every day we're seeing some brand new crazy shit come out of the fucking blue. I've been Mr. Somar Arcadio giving you two personal stories and a fucking warning not to do the fucking one man hide and seek and if you dare do this then you are fucking done you die game over I will not be held responsible for anybody who tries this I'm giving you my fucking waiver right now I will not be held accountable if somebody actually does do this, I'm not going to be held accountable. I'm just giving some real basic info and why the fuck you should avoid it. I just swore to God I just saw something on my screen. And it ain't the fucking TV. Look, I gotta end this now, man. Whenever I talk about fucking crazy shit, it goes fucking south. I'm done.